the most important thing in any bank, of course, you start with a platform of strong capital, which we have strong liquidity, good risk management. And that risk management is to allow you to react to the way the world is changing. And then on top of that, you've got to run your businesses extremely well, manage your costs, so that you can deal with fluctuations in revenue and produce good returns to your shareholders and to your investors ultimately. And that's what our Investor Day is about, to tell people how we're going to do that. So we can expect more than the one billion in structural saving? I mean, we can expect something, is it going to be radical or is it, or is it going to be steady as she goes? Well, we're going to have to be more efficient and that one billion in structural savings was one part of that. And as we continue to look at our businesses, we'll continue to strive for efficiency. Efficiency in cost, improvement in the quality and types of revenue, running the business well. Venkia, what can you tell us about the investment bank? So again, you, you've been very attached to it. There's always questions about what, you know, what happens to it at Barclays. So I think the investment bank has been extraordinarily successful. We have had a strategy over a number of years to do investment banking and to do it well. And we are the leading investment bank domiciled outside the United States. And what I find in my travels, especially in the world, in the geopolitical world in which we live, is people are looking for a partner and a counterpart who's not just a US bank. And if they had to pick one, they tend to pick British banks. And we're a strong British bank, uh, the only British bank really engaged in investment banking in its broadest sense. And part of it is picking London. And I'm very optimistic on London and the UK. London has been a global financial center for 300 years. We've been part of that for 300 years. And so I'm optimistic uh, that both our clients value that and, and it'll be good for UK. Uh, you've got, gone through a rough patch, really. Barclays has also because of the QIA selling off their stake. Get, do, do you see it getting easier and, and better ahead? And what kind of message do you want to give to shareholders? Well, first of all, I think the valuation, the stock price today, does not reflect the potential of our company and our capabilities. And that is the message I want to give. And I want to tell people how we're going to realize that potential. And, and it's something they'll listen again. Is, is it, I guess the question is how, how drastic right now do you need to be? Or is it just an adjustment period that they, do, they need to see the results? Well, certainly they need to see the results. I think more than anything else, these things are a bit of adjustment, a lot of hard work, a lot of persistence, and a lot of effort. And you have to sustain it. 